Hey guys, what's up Capricorn? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading, so just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Alright, media future for the caps. We got the Queen of Pentacles, that's your energy, could be dealing with a... Um, Another earth sign. We also have the queen of swords. So it could be done with the air sign. In the middle of it all. Um, we got the ten of pentacles. Which is cool energy. Uh, for some there's a job opportunity coming. You're coming off as extremely attractive. But there is something that's like difficult here. And maybe something that. I don't know. Didn't go as expected. <clears throat> Show me this queen of pentacles. So it's possible, you know, this for some this could be a wrong career. Alright, show me this Queen of Pentacles. Or your vibe could be about to change a little bit. Two of Cups. Alright. Good energy. A lot of love, a mutual love shared between you and someone. The King of Pentacles. Definitely could be dealing with another earth sign. You have the king and queen of pentacles over here. This is a lot of stability. A lot of security. And also it feels like, you know, there's some type of mutual attraction there. Mutual feeling. Some type of bond. Finances are coming all the way up. Um, either like, at, there, this could be a couple there. Um, it could be around work or another earth sign, or it could just be within yourself, like finding a lot of, a lot of balance, because there's a lot of stability that's coming through. Show me this, um, Ten of Pentacles for Capricorn. Seven of Cups. All right. The hangman and the wheel. Somebody, something's, it's almost like Pisces energy, but it's almost like something's kind of on hold there. There is a reserved energy here, and I don't know how else to put it, but with the hangman and the seven of cups, this is a whole lot of, um, Neptune energy. Like a lot of confusion may kind of be like, you could have options, but this is almost like not seeing things all the way clearly at the moment like the neptune is the gas planet so sometimes we can this can have to do with like some type of an enlightenment but things may kind of seem like a little bit foggy like this is like void moon energy somebody you could be waiting on some money but there's there's a little bit of a pause there and i don't even know if i can call that a pause that's just more of a foggy energy like, you ever just feel like, you know, things seem, I don't know, a little foggy. A little more difficult to figure out. A little hazy. Sometimes we become comfortable. We become content. But, I mean, it's kind of like a stalling energy there. Show me this Queen of Swords for the outcome for um, Capricorn, please. Oh, the Ace of Cups. It's coming right back around. You've been on somebody's mind. Change of perception. For some, this is brand new love. But I think they've already been in your energy. Or kind of like opening back up and expressing. Because we started with the Two of Cups. So it feels like the, the Two of Cups around this King and Queen of Pentacles. So like I said, you could be dealing with another Earth sign. But we, we started with the love. And then we kind of get like, I mean, could be waiting on some money to come through. Or there could be some type of, you know, kind of uh, foggy. I'm calling it foggy. So for the outcome, <clears throat> you have the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Show me this Ace of Cups. It's kind of like feelings being rekindled. 
Somebody may have been stubborn or there could have been some anger that was there. Tell me about the outcome for Capricorn, please. Because your vibe would be changing. This is the same energy. The Emperor could be dealing with the Aries. I want to know more. You're going to have to look at something here from all angles, from all perspectives. I want to know why your vibe changed. For some, this is somebody coming back around. It could be an old friend. I mean, they're trying to rekindle things here. There's a loving friendship here. Uh, even if it's not rekindling, it's kind of, I mean, because there's also the energy. Somebody's been doing a lot of daydreaming, a lot of fantasizing, looking at your pictures, even on their mind. Yeah. Oh, the Empress. Would you look at that? You got the Emperor and the Empress. Fine counterparts and a whole lot of love. You have definitely been on their mind. For some, there's gifts. They're coming to express their feelings, tell you how they feel. With the Queen of Swords, though, they're either intimidated or, or, you know, you may be a little protective of self or logical in the way that you're approaching it. But like I said, there could be some anger there. Or just a little bit of bargain resistance. All right, Capricorn, I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for our personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care, and I will see you next time.